everyone, it's Renee and I'm here with some leftover hacks that you need to have because spring is here, hallelujah! Like the snow is leaving, it's been like moderately temperate and I haven't um, worn three sweatshirts in a couple days so it might be spring. So I'm here with some hacks that will help you save some time in the kitchen. And yes, I'm a health and fitness coach and my goal is to get you sweaty but then it's to fuel you up the proper way and get you in the kitchen with some clean hacks and get you out the door. So today is doing that. Now we have some leftovers that I'm dealing with. One of them is some um, garlic mashed potatoes, but don't tell my family, it's half cauliflower. Now these have already been baked. Um, I prepared them and then stuck them in a crock pot for when we actually ate them for our meal. But now what I'm going to do is make some twice baked potatoes. And I have some leftover bacon and you're thinking, who has leftover bacon? Well, I purposely snatched it from the kids so they wouldn't take it. So this was from Sunday brunch. And then what I'm going to do is sprinkle it atop the garlic mashed potatoes. And then what I did is have some cheese and I'll sprinkle that atop the garlic mashed potatoes. And since this has already been cooked and it's not very deep in my dish, I basically just need to heat it through. So I can put it on timer in the oven or cover it and go outside and play with the kids and it's done. And now, depending on how much meat you might have left over, you can basically make a meal out of that. But the other thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to pop that in the fridge for tomorrow. But I shredded some extra cheese, and tonight on the menu is leftover, kind of reinvented. Last week we had some chili, and that was fine. And this weekend my husband made some mac and cheese. And it wasn't from the box, which is really impressive. But I don't, I don't really know what he did with this, so I'm going to kind of beef it up a little bit with some extra cheese and then we are going to make some chili cheese mac. And if you've never done chili cheese mac, I encourage you to give it a try because my kids aren't big chili fans, but when you mix it with some hearty mac and cheese, it really becomes a whole new dish. And granted, you need a side vegetable of some sort, but there's protein in it and the cheesiness and the carbs that they love and it's a really great balance. And so you can kind of just make an extra pot of creamy mac and cheese and then slowly incorporate the chili. Don't over mix it because then it kind of turns gooey. Um, oh, I had some scallions for both applications actually. Applications, like that's a big fancy word. And you're probably thinking, Renee, mac and cheese, aren't you the health lady? No, I eat pasta. And granted, if you have kids in track, you might need to be pumping them up with some extra pasta. So go ahead and do that. This is already done, so I actually don't even need to maybe mess up a pot. But what I am going to do, because I'm gonna try this gluten-free thing for three months, is try some um, gluten-free noodles. Or maybe I'll mix those in with the kids' because they're shells and shells are fun. Or maybe I'll just keep those for myself, so we'll see. So again, here are two meals that I got off of, two separate meals, and they don't look the same, so they're not leftovers. They're brand new meals, and they're easy, and they're quick, and you can get outside, so you need these for spring's work. So yes, if you'd like in on the gluten-free group that I'm going to be doing, this is just going to be an ongoing, open, come and go as you wish group. I will be opening that later this week, so comment below if you'd like me to add you to that, or if you want any recipes for the cauliflower mash. Again, my family doesn't even know it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.